This video was recorded by a boy who for some reason recorded inside a room while whistling. As he pans the camera around, a figure is seen standing on the other side of the room. As he pans back, the figure is gone. Sorry, and I swear to fuck, I. There was somebody standing there two seconds ago. I'm serious. Here. While some do believe this to be genuine, it does seem weird that he would randomly record a video conveniently whistling and then immediately capture a ghost on video. One way this could possibly be achieved with an old phone is to pause the recording while panning, then pressing play in a new clip while panning at the same spot. In the first clip, you would have the figure standing at the wall and then make it go away in the second clip. It's a very simple effect that he possibly did along with a friend of his. Others are not convinced that this is a fake, arguing that they could see no edits and that no human could get away so fast without making a sound. Another reason why it could be real is that you can hear music playing in the background. And if you were to pause the video and press play a few seconds later, it would be highly noticeable in the audio. The music continues with no cuts, as if no editing was done. This video allegedly shows a poltergeist levitation caught on tape in a kitchen. A man is recording the kitchen, probably expecting something to happen, as this place was known to be haunted, when a pan is somehow lifted up in the air. Go. It could be achieved with the help of string, which some point out they can definitely see. It is very hard to see the string though. That's not to say it isn't there. Another thing to notice is the weird placement of the camera. Why would he point the camera so far away from a levitating pan? Didn't he notice the pan at first? Or was it all planned out to better achieve the desired effect? When the pan hits the sink after levitating is also very peculiar. Why does the audio suddenly just stop like that? It almost sounds like a sound effect inserted while editing. The far majority does however believe this to be authentic. Located in San Bernardino, this video uploaded in 2007 simply shows objects being moved aggressively by what is believed to be a poltergeist. The objects moved are chairs, a table and a poker set. Apparently, the people behind the video had been playing with the Ouija board prior to filming this video. As with most videos falling under the paranormal subject, it has sparked a debate in the comment section, some screaming fake, others having their own arguments as to why it's real. The usual argument that it's fake is that string could have been used to achieve the effect. According to one source, a paranormal investigator by the name of Stephen Wagner asked the original film of the video going by the name Bayer for more details. He responded with, quote, it was at a friend's house who claims that she sees things, like a sixth sense. It happened the night before July 4th, when we were playing with the Ouija board. I wasn't playing it though, hell no." End quote. So the people behind it stand by their claim of this clip being authentic. The backstory of this clip is a bit vague. While some sources say this shows a man mourning over his friend's unfortunate passing, 
Others say it is filmed by some friends trying to capture ghostly evidence on film. Although it could also be both. Apparently, while trying to capture any evidence on camera, the cameraman was asked to leave the place while his friend was staying at a grave. After 45 minutes, something strange happened. It appeared that a ghost reaches out for the man and touches him. The man does seem to be in emotional pain, so perhaps it is his friend's grave that he's visiting. If it was evidence they were trying to find, they certainly got it. That's to say, if it isn't a hoax. James Ansley, who previously sent me a video of a strange growl he and his uncle heard at night, has sent me yet another video. This time, they went inside a house that was in the middle of construction because they were curious. There were many houses in construction around the area, but they felt attracted to this particular house. Therefore, they decided to check it out. James recorded the entire thing with the full video being 10 minutes long. They caught a few strange things on accident. James says he felt something hit his shoe, only to realize later that something was thrown next to him. No, don't go there. I have a feeling not to go there. No, don't go there. I have a feeling not to go there. Later, when his uncle goes up the stairs, another strange sound can be heard from somewhere in the house, which they didn't hear at the time of recording. Take a look. I haven't seen dust this entire video, and I saw two things just fly the opposite direction. What? Orbs, bro. I haven't seen dust this entire damn time in here. Orbs, bro. I haven't seen orbs, bro. I'm not entirely sure what any of this was, but I wanted to show it here since I'm the only one the clip has been sent to. That way, it's at least out there, open to analysis. The St. Augustine Lighthouse is known to have many ghost stories surrounding it. The numerous ghost stories and supernatural legends has led to a number of Dark of the Moon ghost tours and ghost-themed private events. The lighthouse has been featured in Ghost Hunters, as well as the program My Ghost Story. Tour guys report being touched or grabbed by ghosts while showing visitors around. Apparently, a ghostly keeper, Joseph Andrew, who fell down while painting the original tower in 1859, is still watching over its harbor. Furthermore, two children drowned after the supply cart that ran back and forth between the lighthouse and the ocean toppled over into the water. According to lighthouse workers, these two children haunt the lighthouse to this day. This video allegedly shows the apparition of the former lighthouse keeper walking. More specifically, a shadowy figure can be seen walking through a doorframe, then continuing toward another doorframe and then vanishing again.
I do believe this could be achieved with some sort of visual effects, but whether they were able to achieve such an effect when this was originally filmed is unknown. While I do have some knowledge in editing, I'm not quite sure which technique they would use to pull this off, but I'm sure it's possible. For now though, many people are absolutely sure they've had paranormal experiences at this lighthouse, and this tape may be proof of the ghostly stories being real. In this mysterious video, a little girl allegedly talks to a ghost. When her brother walks out of the room, she turns toward the other side of the table she is sitting at and exclaims, that's Billy's dinner, and immediately afterwards, an object on the table moves, something I didn't even notice the first time I watched the video. Take a look. Was this somehow staged, or was it actual paranormal activity caught on camera? The upload of the video says he filmed it on his iPhone 4 and uploaded it straight from the phone that same night. If it was acting, then she did quite well in my opinion. However, many people remained skeptical, although a majority were freaking out about the object moving while she was talking to a quote, imaginary friend. What do you guys think? This is also a video recorded by a member of our community. It was sent to me by Michael and his uncle, who were exploring an old cemetery dating back as far as the 1700s. During the time they were there, they did an EVP, electronic voice phenomenon, and caught what they believe was a voice replying to them. The voice or sound can be heard very faintly when he asked the spirit what had happened to it. In the video sent to me, it's quite hard to hear if it's a voice, but I was also sent the audio file of the EVP recorded from a phone. Firstly, let's take a look at the video. Okay, live again to go talk to Gish, 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 Gish. Let's go see, sit here by this, wait, this ain't the spooky tree. There are a lot of graves. No, we're, we're, we're recording now. Okay, so we're here in the graveyard in front of Adam Pence, and probably no relation to Trump Pence <laughs> or anything like that. Um, looks like he was, di he died in 1885, not exactly the oldest one we found. Um, we got the voice recorder here, see if we can catch us some ghosts. You never know, there might be something underneath. We talked last time to Jane, another grave really hunter. That, uh, somewhere around here, because that's right when I caught that, that sphere. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as we... We talked about it and then we suddenly started smelling like the burning mm -hmm. we then suddenly saw that so we're gonna talk to adam this time you know not to okay. dismay ask okay. him something and then shut the hell up yeah yeah shut it so adam how'd you die was it murder or was it um prison stuff <laughs> I, I i don't mean to insult but you never know or was it um, prison stuff? <laughs> prison stuff. <laughs> now let's take a listen to the EVP and listen very carefully. I'll also increase the audio level for this one. Or was it um, prison stuff? <laughs> prison stuff. What do you guys think this is? Could it be the voice of a spirit still haunting the cemetery or something else entirely? 
In my opinion, it's a good piece of evidence, and I just want to say thank you to Michael for sending this to me. And of course, a thanks to anyone who sends me their own evidence. It's always an honor to, once in a while, get the exclusive clips. YouTuber Haunted in PA claimed that she captured paranormal evidence, or more specifically, a ghost on camera in a bedroom. The video was uploaded in 2013 and shows what she believes is an orb forming into the spirit of a woman wearing a dress. The ghost then flies up into the ceiling, comes down again a little bit, before flying up again and disappearing. Take a look. It's hard to tell what this could be exactly, and I'm not quite sure what the logical explanation could be. Something I'm sure many people probably have an answer for. But nevertheless, many people within the paranormal community thought this was an amazing catch. Personally, I have no good explanation for what this video shows. Haunted in PA also has a couple other videos on her channel of strange ghosts caught in her house, so go check them out if this made you interested. I watched this awesome paranormal investigation by my friend here on YouTube, Michael Scott, when he originally uploaded this series to his YouTube channel. In it, he investigates the Sally House, which is said to be one of the most haunted houses in the US. And he investigates along with fellow paranormal YouTuber Kyla Rebecca, who also uploaded her point of view onto her channel. And they were joined by their partners and friends. Michael manages to capture some compelling evidence throughout their stay. As he does a live stream on his phone, a light turns off by itself behind him. Out into this hallway and I was talking in my live stream and this light here went out by itself. The other light here stayed on, but this one went out. And at first I thought, okay, well, maybe it was just the light bulb, like blue or whatever. I, I got a little freaked out, so I went downstairs I grabbed Amanda, we came into Sally's room here, and we were playing with the blocks on the floor. We got up, we walked out of this room, and we walked out, the light was back on. It just turned back on by itself, it was so weird. And I caught it on my Instagram Live, I just took a screen recording of it, so I'm gonna play it for you now so that you guys can see it. You know, it's just so cool to be at this location. Did you see it? Did a light just go out? 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 Furthermore, a flashlight used by Kyla's boyfriend, Mark, starts strobing, something it is not supposed to do. The footage is shown to Michael and freaks them all out. Um, I freaked myself out a little bit because <laughs> I pushed the button on the flashlight and didn't realize it was going to start like strobing. Oh. oh! It's not supposed to strobe. It gets dimmer. <laughs> Were you recording it? Yes. Are you <laughs> serious? Yeah. It strobed? It just gets, it goes one dimmer and then goes off. Were you in the kitchen? I backed up and like, I went like this. And it goes flip, 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 and it starts flashing about son of a bitch, like. That's not supposed I've to. never heard of a flashlight that strobes except for a strobe. I got it on camera. Here, like, it's definitely I mean, weird like stuff the, with lights going off. A little bit of eeriness that I feel when I run in the dark. I don't feel anything in here. Upstairs. In with the right cold here. Sally room, though. That's a different story. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Push the button. God damn it. It is not supposed to do that. And, like, right when you. It's really strange how some of their best evidence involved lights. If this interested you, 
you should definitely go check out the full series on their channels. Links to both Michael Scott's and Kyla Rebecca's videos are of course in the description. The ghost of a woman was allegedly caught on CCTV footage in the Lincoln County Courthouse. And the footage was so creepy that it was featured in a new segment. Lonnie Reap, who worked there for more than 30 years, believes it to be a real ghost as he's heard footsteps at night, as well as unexplainable noises. While shooting the new segment, they saw the woman once again. They speculated whether it could be a reflection, but came to the conclusion that nothing in the office could create this image. The security camera image of what appears to be a woman riding was so real to security officers, they went up to check it out. Other officers at the monitor say their jaws dropped when the officers sent into the room appeared to walk right through her. For First Sergeant Lonnie Reap, while shooting today, we saw it again in color in the middle of the screen, just over Barbara Jones' shoulder. Some doubters who saw it wouldn't go on camera but told us it's just an illusion. We entertain the thought that it could be a reflection, much like the reflection that you're seeing of me right now in that same area where we spotted the mysterious woman. We searched the office and found nothing that would create this image. A historian that was interviewed had never heard of any tragedies taking place in the courthouse, which makes it all the more mysterious. Let's take another look in higher quality. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what this is. I can't explain how this could even be a reflection, but perhaps it is. It certainly does look like a woman, but let me know what you guys think this is. Three boys venture inside an abandoned house to investigate and see if they can capture anything on their camera. The place is almost completely dilapidated and has a haunting appearance. They are mostly silent, showing their fear of anything else being inside there with them. Suddenly, one of the boys says he saw someone at a window. The other boys are confused by this until the window suddenly slams shut on its own. And afterwards, they of course sprint out of the house, terrified. It's not even a window. What? It, uh, it a window. What? What? It's just someone who's at the window. Act. Someone was at the window. Was. It's gone really bright now. Is the window after all? No, it's it's the same. Oh! <laughs> Believers say the way it was filmed, plus their reactions, makes it genuine and believable. Also, the fact that the camera isn't entirely focused on the window that closes makes it more believable. But whether or not it was staged, or if someone was playing a prank on them is unknown, as the uploader has not come forward with any type of explanation. This video is titled Dorm Room Ghost, and was uploaded by the use of Fifty Saw. In the beginning, a scared man is recording his dorm room, as knocking and loud sounds can be heard from somewhere near him. Then, in what is a terrifying moment to say the least, a mattress levitates and is then thrown to the ground, seemingly by itself. He turns on the light and finds no one there. Then, a door can be seen opening and closing quickly on its own. When he opens it and turns on the light, no one can be seen. Immediately afterwards, he exits the dorm room, terrified. The comment section is filled with people living in this school 
and one person even said that he lives close to this room and has felt some very weird vibes when walking by this very specific room. A user by the name of Gina also commented five years ago that her daughter went to that school and that she similarly had weird experiences there. A user by the name of Brianne said that she, along with a friend, also lived there and went up to this specific room and knocked on the door. No one answered, but they could definitely see a light inside. A few minutes later, the light went out. She also mentioned that they felt very badly standing outside that door. Most people who have seen this clip say that it's real because they doubt the mattress levitation could be faked. Nevertheless, a few people are still very skeptical of this, but it is definitely one of the more compelling clips I've seen. What do you guys think of this one? So that was 13 scary ghost videos you hopefully hadn't seen before. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then subscribe to my channel for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video.